I'm here with ex-PLO terrorist Walid Shoibat, and I'm asking him, what are we seeing in the Middle East? Walid, what's coming up in the days ahead? What's coming up in the days ahead is the Middle East is being set up for a tyrant, mm -hmm. literally. The Muslim world is calling for a caliphate, and this has been the call for many, many years. Uh, it, even if you look at events where Mohammed Mursi, the head of the Muslim Brotherhood, who's becoming the president of Egypt, they're talking about a khilafa, khilafa, which is the, really the vicarhood of the Muhammad on earth. While the West are still focused on the old interpretation that the Pope or the papacy, yes, it's sure, it is about a papacy, but it's an Islamic papacy, wow. not a Catholic papacy. Mm -hmm. And so, they, they, you know, it is really heading towards that route. Egypt is the most powerful Arab country in the Middle East. Mm. And if Egypt falls to the Islamists, mm. the rest falls like a domino effect. Mm. Syria, Jordan, uh, the Palestinian issue, Hamas versus the PA. Israel has been trying to work peace treaties between Hamas and the PA. Mm -hmm. Now Hamas will be elevated, which I said many years ago. Yeah. I've always said that it, it is going to become Hamas's stand. Even when the PA was ahead and the world money was com coming to help in aid the PA, mm -hmm. I was always saying eventually we'll see Hamas take over. Mm -hmm. uh, so Hamas will be elevated. The peace treaty with the Camp David Accord will be also made null and void. But of course, it will be reinstituted by that one man, the evil one, who is the Antichrist. In fact, since we discussed Isaiah 19, it's very clear that Egypt will be given to a cruel master. The cruel master is, of course, very likely to be the Antichrist. And that is also discussed in Daniel in chapter 11, verse 42, mm -hmm. that the Egyptians, the Libyans, and the Kushites, which is uh, Somalia, Sudan, uh, so North Africa, as well as Sudan, Somalia, as well as you know, uh, in Egypt, will kowtow to this one man, this evil one, this Antiochus Epiphanes, if you will, of, of the, the Middle modern, East. In the modern age. Yes, and let's not forget, the Khalifa of Islam, mm -hmm. this last Khalifa of Islam, in Islam, he's also the Mahdi. Twelfth. From the Shia, it's the twelfth. Yes. But we have to always think of the Sunnis. What the Sunnis view this, yes. it's not just the Shia, but the Sunnis as well. Yeah. The Sunnis will never accept the twelfth Imam. Ah. Uh, it has to come from the Sunni Muslim world. Wow. That's 85% of the Muslim world. Wow. If you want to know what's really happening in the Middle East, please join us at Levitt.com. You're going to hear the Bible exposed and opened in a way you've never heard it before from a man who understands Arabic, Hebrew, English, and is able to interpret the events in the Middle East. Please join us at Levitt.com.